Can everyone hear me? Thumbs up. Okay, awesome. I, there's a few of you I don't know. So if you don't know me, I'm Tori. I play, well, when we could play basketball, I played NBL 1 and Youth League for the women. So there doesn't seem to be many tonight, but that's okay. We'll get started for today. Um, if possible, you could have a tennis ball, um, two basketballs if you've got them. If you don't, that's okay. And just a drink bottle or a cone. You can just use a drink bottle. That'll be easier. Awesome, a few more. So if you just joined, we were just saying, if you could have, if possible, a tennis ball, two basketballs, and just a drink bottle or a cone, either or other. All right, let's get started. We'll start warming up. We'll just start with some high knees. Everyone get your knees up. Oh yeah, and you probably all know, but just make sure you stay on mute unless you have a question, that's totally fine. You can unmute yourself and ask a question or you can write it in the chat if you don't want to. Good job. Keep going. All right, now we're gonna start with our A skip. So just like this, like short, sharp skip. Job. Awesome work, everyone. Make sure you get them short and choppy. I sound puffed, it's because I just came from a, another Zoom training with my under 12, so I'm, Abby worked me hard. All right, now we're gonna do some body weight squats. So just squat down, make sure your knees don't go out. Make sure they stay over your knees. I mean, over your toes. Good job. Doesn't have to be super fast. Just make sure you get the technique right. So keep going. Oh, Zach, hi. <laughs> make sure your knees go over your toes, Zach. So, um, this. All right, now we're gonna turn that into a squat jump. So we're gonna squat down and then we're gonna explode up and then land softly in a squat. So I'll show you again, explode, land softly in a squat. Keep going. About three more and then we'll get into some dribbling. Awesome, all right, grab a drink if you need it. All right, I want you to get your drink bottle or your cone, or whatever you have. And just put it in front of you. Grab your ball. Everyone got that? Oops, just letting someone in. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna start with the ball in our right hand. Sarah, you would have just done this if you're still here. <laughs> but we're gonna dribble over and back, trying not to hit your drink bottle. So keep it nice and controlled. I don't wanna see it coming up here. Keep it nice and close to the drink bottle but not hitting it. It's a bit tricky at first. Good job. When I first started doing this, I knocked my drink bottle over nearly every time. Good job, right, we'll switch to our left hand now. A bit trickier for most of us, unless you're left-handed.
Good job, right? Shake out your legs if you need it. Now we're gonna try and take out that second dribble. So it's more like an onside dribble, if anyone knows what one of those is. So instead of going over and back, we're gonna go and push it back like this. You can even have the step in if you want. So give that a go. Oop, knocked over my drink bottle. And try and do it with your eyes up if you can. Good job, keep going. Nice, try and keep it low, really sharp. We don't want our ball, uh, our hand to come under the ball because that would be a carry. So try and keep it on top. It's a bit tricky. Good job. All right, switch to your left hand, even harder for most of us. Oh. Good job. Nice work, everyone. All right, hold the balls. Now we're gonna go back to the over and back, and then we're gonna go through our legs from behind. So we're gonna go over, back, through. Over, back, through. Over, back, through. Give it a go. Doesn't matter if you lose the ball. That's how you get better. Let's go on in. Good job. Nice. Job, yep. Yeah. I always said good job, girls. I'm so used to saying that because I coach under 12 girls. Good job, everyone. All right, now switch to your starting in your... Now we're gonna, um, sorry, we're gonna try and take out that second dribble. So instead of going over and back through, we're gonna do on side, through. On side, through. It's a little bit trickier. But just give it a go. So you're taking out that second dribble. Good job. Try and keep your eyes up. Nice work, everyone. All right, hold it there. Our last one, bit of a challenge. We're gonna go over, back, behind. Over, back, behind. I don't wanna see you arching your back when you go behind. Make sure you sit in a chair and make sure the ball goes under your bottom. So over, back, behind. And if you get the hang of that, then try and do the onside behind. So take, a, take out the second dribble. Good job. Nice work, everyone. One more and then grab a drink. And come back with your two bowls if you have them. Does everyone have two balls? So you can move your drink bottle out of the way. We don't need that one anymore. Two balls, good job, Denver, Josh, Cody. Awesome, Sarah's got two balls. Good job. All right, we're gonna start. I know you can all do this one, but we're gonna start by counting them together. Not up here, I don't wanna see them up here. Really low, really hard into the floor. And keep your eyes up. Good job. Eyes up. All right, now alternate. Going. Um, really hard into the floor. All right, give your legs a shake if you need it. Now we're gonna go pound, cross, pound, cross, pound, cross. Good 
Good job. Keep going. Just give it a go. It doesn't matter if you lose your ball. Nice. Very impressive, everyone. Job, pound, cross. Ooh. Pound, cross. All right. Now an even trickier one, which I'll admit I still need to work on, but we're all here to practice. So we're gonna go one for a front crossover and one in between. So it's gonna look something like this. And I told you I need to work on it too. I need to get in the backyard and work on it. So one through the legs and one crossover. And then pound. Just give it a go. Of everyone. Woo. Keep going. Oh, lost my balls. All right, and our last one, super challenging, is one in front, one behind. So just give it a go. As I said, my two ball dribbling definitely needs work. One in front, one behind. Nice work, Reed. Job, Cody. There, I like your profile picture of your bed. <laughs> Good job. One in front, one behind. All right, grab a drink, everyone. Now, hands up if you do have a tennis ball. Or thumbs up, hands up, whatever. Yes, yes. Two tennis balls, Chase. <laughs> you only need one. Awesome, if you have one, grab it. Mine rolled under here. We're gonna do a tennis ball series, which I'm sure you've done before if you've come to these sessions. So we're gonna start with the ball in our right hand and we're gonna throw it with our left hand and catch it. Keeping our eyes up, really pound the ball. I don't wanna see the ball coming up here. Really pound it down low. Your knees, good job. If you don't have a tennis ball, well, I think everyone does. And keep going. All right, switch over to the left now. So your left hand with the ball and your right hand with the tennis ball. Um, keep going. Sorry, I have to come really close because I usually wear glasses when I'm on my laptop, so I can't see from back there. Keep going. All right. Now we're going to go from, we're going to go pound, cross, and the tennis ball switches hands. A little bit trickier. Job. Work back. Job, Tiger. Job, Chase. Job, Sarah. Nice. Keep going a few more. Good job. All right, and the last super challenging one we're gonna do 
is a crossover behind the back and the ball and the tennis ball switches hand, which I'll admit I definitely need more practice on. So some of you might be better than me <laughs> if you've been practicing. So it's pound behind the back, pound behind the back. Good job. Just give it a go. Nice back. Good job, Cody. Oh, you guys have definitely been practicing this one. I need to get in the backyard this weekend and practice it. Good job. I like your full gym setup, Tiger. Wish that was my house. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Keep going. Good job. Awesome work. Very, very impressive, everyone. All right, grab a quick drink if you need one. All right, and then after your drink, I need you to grab your cone or drink bottle again and put it in front of you. We don't need our tennis balls anymore, so you can put them away. Everyone ready? Good job. All right. I'm not sure if you've done this before, if you've come to a session, because I, <laughs> I've done one other session and we did this one, but we're gonna do it anyway, because it was in the plan. So it's a jab series. So we're gonna wrap the ball around our waist twice then we're gonna jab so my cone is here so i've jabbed front jab and i come back and then i'm gonna wrap it around my body again and i'm gonna go side jab wrap it around again front jab so make sure when you jab that the ball goes over your knee so it's like we're gonna drive to the basket or dribble so the ball goes over your knee and then come back wrap over my knee wrap over my knee. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. All right, ready, set, go. Good job. Make sure the ball goes over your knee. Really sell the jab. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake out your legs. Good job, everyone. Now we're gonna go to the other side. So that's my left, because I just did my right. So the exact same thing. Catch your breath a bit. All right, here we go, off you go. Make sure to put the ball above, over your knee. Front, side. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everyone. All right. Catch your breath, grab a drink if you need. Now we are gonna do a jab taking off series. So whew, we are going to figure eight the ball in between, then jab, then we're gonna take off, then we're gonna retreat. So I'm gonna cross over, retreat back, and then I'm gonna come back and do it again. Jab, take off, retreat, come back. I need to move my ball out of the way so I can have some room. I'm gonna do that one for 30 seconds. Start the ball in the hand, opposite to the foot you're gonna jab. So I'm gonna jab with that one and the ball starts with this hand. We're gonna go all on one side first and then the next 30 seconds we'll go on the next side. All right, ready, set, go. 
job. Really trying to explode out of. Good job. Keep going, everyone. Need to come closer to me. Good job. Really explode out of that jab step. Keep going. Got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, give your legs a shake. Now I'm gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna start the ball on my left hand. Through jab, explode with my left. Cross over, retreat. I want you to, I saw a couple of people standing up as they were dribbling. I want you to stay low the whole time. I know it's hard on your legs, but that's how we get better, okay? All right, we're ready to go. Off you go. Ten, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. All right, grab a drink. Almost done. Way to work hard, everyone. All right, we are going to finish with what I like to call a pyramid. So I'm going to put the exercises in the chat, so if you can't remember them, you can look there. Uh, but we are gonna, it's a pyramid, so we're gonna do 100 pound dribbles with our right, then we're gonna do 100 pound dribbles with our left, 50 crossovers, 40 behind the backs, then we're gonna do Sorry, I was sending a private message. I'll put it in the chat in a second once you get started. After our 40 crossovers, we're gonna do 30 cross between the legs. So we're gonna do 15 starting with our left hand and 15 starting with our right hand. And then we're gonna go back down the pyramid. So we start with 30 cross between the legs then 40 behind the backs then 50 crossovers then 100 pounds each side. Does that make sense? Thumbs up if it does. It's so awkward because I can't hear you guys. <laughs> All right, just let me put that in the chat. Okay, that should work. So open the chat if you can't remember, but I'll talk you through it. All right, so this is our finisher. So this is just to get lots of reps in of different types of dribbles. Ready? I'm gonna do it too. Off you go. Once you've done right, you do left. And 50 crossovers. Good job, everyone. Make sure you keep them low and wide. Once you've done that, 40 behind the back. So don't arch your back, sit down the chair. Okay. 
And once you've done that, 30 cross between the legs. You'll end up doing this one twice in a row because we're going back down the pyramid. Good job, everyone. Keep going. I know your legs are burning. It's mine all too. Did you go back down the pyramid, Evie? Not bad. After this, we have 40 behind the backs again. Keep pushing. Good job, everyone. Good job. Keep going. Oh, how's everyone's legs? Zach, you're so speedy. All right, and after that, 50 crossovers. Done shape, awesome. Wait for everyone else to finish. And 100 pounds each side. Make sure you're not bending over. You sit in a chair. Your back straight so you don't hurt it. Grab that. This time, keep going, everyone. Finish it off. All right, awesome job, everyone. Bit of a sweat up, I hope you got a bit of a workout of that, I definitely did. Thanks for coming to work out with me. Um, a reminder about, I think it's Abby that runs Hoops Fit on Sunday. Has anyone gone to that one? With Abby, Zach, good job, Cody, yep. So she runs that, I think, it, is it 10 a.m., Zach? I think it's at 10 a.m., yeah. 10 a.m. on Sunday, Abby runs Hoops Fit, so it's like dribbling and a bit of a fitness workout too. I think Cassie also does that at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, so make sure you go check that one out. I know there's another one, but I, I think there's one on Tuesday night as well, so make sure you go check them out. It's really good that you guys are keeping up with your basketball skills. I know it's really hard in this time, but it's really good that you guys are coming to work out with us. We love doing it. I'm sure you love keeping your skills up. But yes, everyone at the club misses you and we can't wait to get back to it sometime soon. So have a good, what day is it? Friday night and weekend. And we'll see you another time. Good job, everyone. Thank you. No worries. Thanks. Thanks, Tori. See ya. Thank you. No worries, Chase. Dub Cody.